When I started teaching in systems engineering, I realized that my job was to expose our students to a way of thinking that we architects take for granted. I'm talking about synthetic thinking. And we take it for granted because we have to use it all the time when we're dealing with the complexity, with ambiguity, and because we are asked to solve problems creatively. Combine this way of thinking with the analytical thinking that engineers are so familiar with and you have something really powerful, something that is stronger than either way of thinking by itself. This is in brief what design and systems thinking is about. It's a new process that we have been branding here in systems engineering, which combines on the one hand the effectiveness of the design thinking process uh, which focuses on empathizing with users, defining the right questions, uh, divergent thinking and rough prototyping, with, on the other hand, the efficiency of the systems engineering process, which provides the right set of tools for capturing and modeling the emotional data uh, we collect via empathy fieldwork and for validating every single step of the design process. So imagine engineers and designers working together um, creatively solving uh, uh, real challenges with the real users and stakeholders and moving from unpacking insights with post-its on a board to creating uh, context diagrams, activity diagrams, uh, systems tools uh, that we layer with uh, emoticons, uh, with pictures, uh, with colors in order to synergize uh, with a human-centered design approach. And this process is completely scalable. It works when students are designing uh, consumer products for families and when they are envisioning uh, a new innovative mobility system for an entire region. Another important aspect uh, of our design offers is that we were able to fully integrate our distance learning students in all the lab activities. Through these avatars, uh, which we named the Cynthias, our distance learning students are able to talk, to see, to hear, to brainstorm with their peers, to be part of the creative process. The Cynthias are customized by our on-campus students in order to match with the personalities of the distance learning students, and this really helps in bringing them here physically and emotionally, uh, and in creating a bond with their teams. And when we have to take them outside in the field in order to uh, empathize or test with users, uh, then we have two choices. If we are in a controlled environment, we provide them with robots that they can remotely control so they can actually turn around and uh, nicely interact with the environment and with people. And if we are in a completely random environment, then uh, we will uh, wear them in our smartphones. I do believe that this collaboration between on-campus students and distance learning students, especially when it comes to these design offers with lots of uh, hands-on activities, teamwork and creativity involved, it really is a win-win situation. Distance learning students feel part of the uh, Cornell community and culture, and on-campus students have the unique opportunity to interact, to work with peers that have already started a successful professional career and this is extremely valuable for them.